welcome to my channel IT smart training hope you all are well today I am going to start Amazon web service lesson 3 which is based on virtualization if my video is informative please like and share definitely subscribe my channel to get new technological video update which makes you IT smart so let's start for the virtualization So virtualization is uh, part of a cloud computing. So first we have to know that what is virtualization. So if I go for the definitions of virtualization, the virtualization is the ability to run multiple operating system on a single physical system and share the underlying hardware resources. Suppose I have a desktop and there are only one operating systems are there maybe Windows 10 or a Windows Server or a Linux or a Ubuntu whatever but the hardware is a single hardware and I mean I am using a single operating system on that hardware so virtualization is the technology which is used to share the same hardware and we can configure their multiple operating system simultaneously so that is a concept of a virtualization so if we see that uh, the left hand side uh, architecture you can see that this is our CPU this is our memory this is our NIC card this is our hard disk and upon that hardware there is install an operating system and then the application layer so we are actually using we are actually access our system through this application layer so in the next scenario you can see that there are CPU hardware at the same NIC and disk then there we install a virtualization application like uh, uh, VMware workstations, VMware ESXi, uh, Hyper-V, whatever you can use and through using that applications we are install multiple operating system inside that application and that particular operating system uses the same the RAM, the CPU, the NIC, the hard disk, but that resources are virtual. They do not have any physical existence over there. That hardware resource, that virtual hardware resource exactly uses the physical hardware resource. So VMware is the application which is provide the virtualization actually. okay here we point out some definitions or we can say that some uh, points are mentioned over here that is if we use VMware VMware provides hardware virtualizations that presents a complex x86 platform to virtual machine but it is a very outdated uh, virtualization technology now uh, we are using x64 x, uh, uh, virtualization technology which is a 64 bit based on 64 bit it allows multiple applications to run isolation within a virtual machine on the same physical machine so I already told that there have some isolations because if we use a multiple uh, virtual operating system over there so there is may there is a isolated way they are uh, th that application is actually using 
So next, the virtualization provide direct access to hardware resources to give you the much greater performance than the software emulation. So virtualization actually provide you the great performance uh, instead of a software virtualization. So there have some criteria actually. So I will uh, uh, discuss all that criteria. Why do we need virtualizations? What uh, virtualization exactly do uh, uh, in my later slides? So first, why are the virtual machine useful? First, run Windows or Linux operating system over there. Second, consolidate many different workloads or a guest OSS on one big machine that is called solver consolidation. There we can use multiple different operating system and we can consolidate different workloads. workloads. Okay. Next third point we can migrate running virtual machines run one host to another suppose uh, in my environment host is basically consider a physical machine where the virtual machines resides and guest is the virtual machines this is the virtualization terminology you have to mind it host is a physical machine where the virtual machine resides and guest is the virtual machine itself okay so we can migrate running virtual machines one host to another suppose we have two virtual machines if uh, uh, two not two virtual machine we have suppose two host means two physical server or two physical machines okay suppose one machine goes down then inside that host or a physical machine there have some running virtual machines so that goes down so our service will goes down so to overcome this scenario we migrate that virtual machine to one physical host to another the, that process should be automated or we can uh, migrate that manually uh, we can discuss that uh, in later uh, exercises So this is called automatic workload balancing across the cluster of machines. Fourth point is VM also simplify high availability or a digested recovery site. Suppose I create a data center, somehow um, our data center goes down, maybe uh, my data center burn out. So what happened? My all the data and all the machines are inside the data center. So for that safety purpose we have to configure a digester recovery site where the exact replica of that virtual machines and the data are stored that digester recovery site and there uh, some uh, connectivity between digester recovery site and the high availability site they the data are replicated a scheduled time there have some SLA uh, service level agreement uh, to the customer the how much data we can get if my primary site goes down okay so here I am configure uh, uh, virtualization architectures so this is my host here the runs Windows or Mac operating system, device supports inherited from host operating system, virtualized install like say applications rather like a operating system. So this is a host, this is a my uh, traditional way. Uh, this is my host, my application are running the host and there is the itself an operating system. I installed um, VMware workstations and instead uh, using VMware workstations there are multiple uh, VMs are configured. In a hypervisor, this is a device driver, this is my network stack, storage stacks and you can uh, if you um,
if you are compare if you compare uh, those uh, these two uh, uh, architecture in this architecture uh, left hand side architectures are uh, uh, is called type 2 virtualization technology and the right hand side uh, um, uh, architectures are based on the type 1 virtualization technology okay so in hypervisor scenario virtualization supports a very small kernel that is called VM kernel this is a very highly efficient direct IO pass through architecture network and disk excellent management and scheduling hardware resources so this scenario is directly contact to the hardware instead of using operating system kernel so in this scenario in the left side the scenario uh, the virtualization architectures are contact to the physical operating system and then operating system kernel will contact the hardware so that there is some uh, uh, slowness you can get in a uh, left hand side uh, architecture so in in a traditional architecture uh, there as a physical servers and inside the physical server operating system installed and applications are installed this is a traditional architecture so if we use this kind of architecture so actually uh, we have to know that why the virtualization is required actually we are talking about virtualization why virtualization is required why do not we can give we use the physical servers instead of virtualization technology so the answer is just I just give you an example uh, suppose you have I want to configure my own data center so to prepare my data center so uh, what uh, kind of uh, things we need first we configure uh, we have to buy uh, physical servers we have to purchase operating systems okay so after configurations of that server suppose we have four servers there suppose uh, we have a, a web server I'm just giving you a scenario okay so you can view my screen so suppose this is my I want to configure my data center okay so inside my data center uh, there have some servers this is my web server this is my uh, DNS server this is my WordPress server this is my SQL server this is my uh, application server this is my uh, Linux server so I'm just write down over here what server is this to get uh, more understandable just a sec this is my web server okay so this is my DNS server this is my WordPress server this is my SQL server this is my mail server and this is my uh, this is my mm, suppose application server okay so and this is my data center correct okay so this is my data center so we have six physical server and we have to run that physical server 24 cross 7 because my customer gets the service 24 cross 7 so that we have to purchase for physical server because of its running 24 cross 7 it will generate more heat so we 
have to deploy air condition in my data center correct as well as we need a network rack okay where my switches my routers are deployed suppose this is my switch this is my router okay so my switch my routers are deployed over here so this is my exact scenario to maintain this my data center first we need hardware this is number one point second we need rack third we need devices fourth we need air condition fifth we need space because we have to buy uh, we have to rent uh, we have to provide rent to for this data center to my landlord okay so if my data center is small we have to spend small amount of money we, if my data center is big we have to spend a huge amount of money for space okay so these are the criteria we need to fulfill as well as we required lease line okay so after deploying this we can get that we can see that the huge electricity bill will uh, appear so electricity bill is a one of criteria and seventh point is system admin okay to maintain all these things so these are the criteria we have to fulfill after deploy this data center we can see that the CPU and RAM utilization of a web server is very little suppose we can see that CPU utilization is 4% RAM utilization is 20% for this web server okay for DNS we can see that that amount is maybe 1% maybe 5% for WordPress website that amount maybe 3% maybe 10% and so on so my prop hardware utilization is very less so which I spend money f to buy that hardware that money is not fulfilled that money is not um, I mean uh, my consumptions of uh, the hardware which we buy it is very less so so all money is waste so to overcome this kind of scenario we deploy the same data center but we configured there only one physical server okay 
the rack and the ACs are same inside this physical server we configure a virtualization where we deploy web DNS WordPress SQL mail application server inside a same machine and the network rack and the routers remain same and also the lease line remains same but in this scenario you can get less hardware to buy rack remains same you can buy a smaller rack network devices remain same but you can uh, uh, deploy their uh, small number of switch ports because there is only one server we have to deploy a air conditions obviously but the capacity of air condition is very low space required very small space to uh, establish that uh, data center or to deploy this data center electricity bill will less because smaller number of hardware is configured there so for that reason we are deploying virtualization in our environment this is the reason so in this scenario you can see that this is a traditional architecture we which we are we very use uh, in previous days our physical machines then the operating system and the applications this is the traditional way there may be I have data center I have 100 appli 100 uh, services is uh, configured there so we uh, deploy their 100 servers so it will a huge amount of servers spent a lot of money a lot of my company's money totally waste so avoid this uh, scenario or my money proper utilization we deploy this virtualization technology where a physical hardware inside the physical art hardware we are deploying a virtualization applications and using that virtualization applications we install multiple guest operating system or a virtual machine inside that which serve the same purpose same services which a physical standalone physical server provide see a traditional way there may be many so many servers if I consolidate consolidate that server that are in a single box see this is the rack where one two three four five six seven eight servers are there eight rack servers so I deployed that servers this single physical machine as a virtual machine see the same thing this is the traditional way and we can uh, using VMware uh, applications using this VMware application we deploy the server over here so see in virtualization there have some types before discussing the types I just want to tell you the virtualization technology is based on the hypervisor technology hypervisor technology 
are two types one is a type 1 hypervisor technology another one is type 2 hypervisor technology okay in type 1 hypervisor technology in type 1 hypervisor technology there are two types one is a monolithic another one is a microkernel what is monolithic what is microkernel I will describe you in next slide and type 2 virtualization technology which is which we say that uh, the type 2 virtualization technology is slower than type 1 virtualization technology type 1 virtualization is much faster than type 2 so there have some reasons why type 1 is faster why type 2 is slow there have some reasons I will tell you in later slide type 1 virtualization technologies uh, examples are Hyper-V which is based on Microsoft VMware ESXi which is a VMware product KVM which is based on Linux Citrix Proxmox these are the virtualization technology which is based on type 1 the example of type 2 virtualization technologies are VMware workstation virtual box VM box these are based on type 2 virtualization technologies see there have two diagram is can, uh, written here one is the type 1 another one is type 2 if we see at first we just describe the type 2 virtualization technology you can see that this is my physical hardware inside my physical hardware there is a processor memory disk network cards all are resides in my physical hardware okay through using this hardware we install host operating system means suppose Windows 10 uh, Windows Server 2012 Windows Server 2016 Windows Server 2019 uh, VMI uh, uh, not VMI workstation VMI workstation is an application uh, this kind of operating system we can install over there through using this operating system physical operating system upon that operating system we install a VMI workstation which is an application here the VMI workstation virtual box VM box these are the application which is install in host operating system we all know that software are two types one is called system software another is called application software so host operating system is a system software and the application is VMware workstation which is application software using this application software this hypervisor layer hypervisor is a, actually a file which is uh, install inside the host operating system you can see that uh, hypervisor layer is just up upon the host operating system through this hypervisor technology we are using the VM we are uh, installing multiple VM on that when these VMs are communicate to that physical hardware it actually helps it actually take helps to that hypervisor and that hypervisor will uh, send the command to the host operating system and host operating system kernel will send that to the physical hardware there have some layers or the steps to communicate the physical hardware there are multiple steps are followed communicate to the physical hardware okay that's why this type 2 virtualization technologies is slow but if we want to talk about the type 1 virtualization technology you can see that this is my physical various these processor memory networkers and resides when we install the operating system physical operating system it's actually a hypervisor operating system which hypervisor layer are stored or uh, install just upon the physical hardware and after that we are um, installing the virtual machine 
and when that virtual machine wants to talk to the physical hardware that virtual machine actually talk to the hypervisor and hypervisor will talk to the physical hardware that's it the communication layer or the communication process is less than type 2 virtualization technology in type 2 virtualization technology you can see that some uh, so many tips are re required to communicate to the hardware physical hardware but in type 1 virtualization technology there is only uh, one or two steps to follow to contact to the physical hardware this is the main difference in the industry level we are using only type 1 virtualization technology and type 2 virtualization technology we are using in our lab environment so we all uh, previously we told that there are some uh, uh, there are some types in type 2 we already told that type 1 virtualization technology are uh, monolithic and microkernel two types so in that scenario first we describe the microkernelized design microkernelized design support hyper-v Hyper-V support microkernelized design. So here, this uh, hardware layer is resides upon the hardware layer that hypervisor layer are installed. This code size may be 600 KB, not more than that. And upon that hardware layer, hypervisor layer, then that uh, application, live migration, Hyper-V replica, these all are work inside the controlling layer okay and the physical operating system of that uh, system are called at, uh, are called as uh, a main partition where the device drivers are loaded suppose we are hyper-v uh, we can get the hyper-v uh, inside the windows 10 or a windows 12 server 2012 so at first uh, if we want to take uh, uh, that application hyper-v it is a built-in application inside the server 2012-16-19 or a Windows 10 so at first we have to install that operating system after that we have to install the Hyper-V the main physical operating system is called main partition and the uh, after that we uh, configured the virtual machine the, that is called a child partition and all these are operated by this controlling layer and the device driver of the virtual machines are provided by main partition means main physical operating system and the next we are uh, describing the monolithic design we, uh, in uh, which is uh, used to VMware uh, if we configure the VMware ESXi actually this is not a VMware workstation don't confuse this is a VMware workstation so after this physical hardware this is the hypervisor layer inside the hypervisor layer there there uh, all the device drivers are stored in the hypervisor technology and storage stack network stack migration everything are controlled by the hypervisor not to the controlling layer and upon the hypervisor there is a main partition and the VMs are stored and this VMs are communicate through this hypervisor and then hardware so if we compare the monolithic and microkernelized hypervisor so we can say that microkernel hypervisors are more faster than monolithic hypervisor because uh, all the operations main main operations like device drivers storage stack network stack all are controlled by the hypervisor so that is more fast than microkernelized design so to configure VMware ESXi or a Hyper-V we have some prerequisites that is my hardware must be the AMD V or Intel VT supported and this must be the x64 architecture this is the preliminary uh, hardware requirement and the hardware requirement for the AMD uh, NX no executable bits must be uh, there for Intel XD executable bit disable 
these are the requirement so what kind of guest operating system support on Hyper-V or VMware USXI that is Ubuntu Windows 8 CentOS this 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 okay there are so many uh, industries are buying these uh, virtualization technologies okay so I just go to the next slide here you can see that without VMware or without a Hyper-V there are so many servers are configured we already uh, discussed this uh, scenario there are applications are installed over there you can see that the CPU usage is very low very less so all require same power emit heat required physical space setup reconfiguration maintenance and support we discuss all these parameters if we don't use uh, virtualization so if we use virtualization then what happened all these applications are inside that virtual machine or inside that architecture or inside that uh, physical machine so you can see that the CPU utilization is 56 percent only the flexibility rapid provisioning disaster recovery high availability automated automation system management integration adaptive data center these all are the benefit we can get the key features of virtualization is run multiple virtual machines simultaneously on a single physical server this is a partitioning next isolations each virtual machine is isolated from another virtual machines on the same server encapsulation virtual machine encapsulate entire system hardware configurations operating systems apps in files hardware independence run a virtual machine on a server without modification so this is all about the virtualization if you have any query again uh, regarding this virtualizations please uh, don't hesitate uh, to write a comment your comment is very valuable to me so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel please share my videos thank you thank you for watching